Hey everyone, Denise here from So Limitless and in today's video I'm doing a back to basics sewing video for you. So let's get started. So first of all, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, then hi, my name is Denise. And uh, last year, around the end of the year, I said I wanted to start doing a back to basic uh, sewing videos, basically. What I had done at the end of the year, I believe, is I pretty much did a list of the things that are basics for me. And these are things that I could really use in my wardrobe that I don't have. Those missing pieces that are the kinds of things that you can really get a lot of, a lot of use out of. So one of the first things that I did uh, late last year was a white shirt. I never made a white shirt and I never bought one. That was my first one. So today is a black turtleneck. That was one of the things, actually one of the first things I put on my list of items to sew was a black turtleneck. So that is what I have done. And I put together some different outfits uh, featuring the black turtleneck and I will show you those pictures. But um, what I use for my pattern is the Wardrobe By Me Trudy Turtleneck. This is the pattern cover here. It, it is a PDF pattern. I believe it's only PDF. I'm not absolutely positive about that, but I can leave you a link to their website. But what it says here is Trudy Turtleneck is a fitted t-shirt with two collars and five sleeve options. So I have made the lower collar option, which is basically like a mock turtleneck. This one that I made this time, the, the black uh, turtleneck, is with the higher collar option. And that one is more like the traditional turtleneck. I fold it down just like a regular turtleneck. So that's what I did this time. I made it long sleeve and the high collar. Uh, so that's what I've done with this one. Now I also, I have honestly forgotten about all these different options on the pattern but they have also a sleeveless option for this. And there was a time, probably about 10 years ago, that I had made two sleeveless turtlenecks. I got so much use out of those sleeveless turtlenecks because it's the perfect layer to keep my neck warm and to stay warm under other items, whether it un was under a jumper or under a cardigan or whatever, I actually got what much more use out of out of those sleeveless turtlenecks than I ever thought that I would have. So this time, the black turtleneck is something that I needed, and it's one of those things that I realized that I needed when I wanted to wear it. So what I did is I made this one from it's a cotton interlock just black cotton interlock that I bought at Joann Fabrics. So it's a comfortable fabric. It's got some stretch and washes and dries great. So I think this is one of those things that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. So I did put this together with some different options uh, like a black turtleneck and blue jeans, black turtleneck and with the jeans and boots, all kinds of different ways but it's also a nice layer, especially being someplace where it's cold right now. It's still, it's winter. We're in January when I'm filming this. And so it's very cold and we've had snow. So it's also a nice layer to be able to wear up under other things, whether it's a flannel shirt, under the white shirt that I made, whatever the case. Uh, it's one of those items that can really uh, if you add something like this to your wardrobe, it can really give you some versatility and some different options. And I like putting different, uh, different things together that I already have in my closet. So that's kind of the point of this back to the, the back to basics is I'm going to try to do more solid color items that I can mix and match more easily with other things that I've already made. So that's important to me as well because I do want to get the most use out of 
uh, the garments that I've already put together, you know, that I've already sewn. So that's something that I am working on. So this is part, well, the second item in my, on my list. So I do have some other items that I will be working on throughout the year. So like I said, this is going to be an occasional series. I don't have like a time limit or anything like that on it. But I think some of the first items I wrote down are more winter focused, but it will be, I think, something fun to put together. It'll be something fun for me to share with you. And I hope that you all enjoy this. And if you have any other suggestions or comments, questions actually uh, about other basics or whatever, let me know in the comments down below. But that is it for this video. I thank you all for watching. Um, please give the video a thumbs up and if you like go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload a new video. But take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.